my name is Dr. Jen Anaker. I want to welcome you back to our videos. I'm the owner of Anaker Clinics of Chiropractic and through these videos I'm always looking to educate my practice members, the community, and we thank you for being here today. So today's topic is about GMOs, which is a large topic. So we're just going to give you a little tip of the iceberg here. And with our videos, it hits one of our three platforms, which is to give you wellness tips or really to give you information to make good decisions at home as far as what you're doing, what you're eating, how to live a healthier life. Also answer chiropractic questions as well as give you just a little insight into some of the things that I do for my own health care. So GMOs, again large topic, going to give you a little taster as far as some information. First off, if you don't have a lot of knowledge about GMOs, what it stands for is genetically modified organism. So basically it means that in a science lab they've genetically altered the certain crops of certain things and so what they've been manipulated and so what is that GMO or which of those I'm sorry which of those food sources are genetically modified and so it's going to be in your corn your soy your cottonseed canola sugar beets it's now in peas and potatoes rice papaya vegetable oils and then of course from the corn you get your high fructose corn syrup and so 70 percent of our processed food incorporates one of these as a preservative so again that's going to lead you back you've got to go back and look at your labels see what's being added in um, and see if any of these foods are added in as preservatives. The other thing to take that a step for, uh, further is that when you're talking about um, corn and soy is that that's what's being fed to 90% of our meat and um, animal sources and so they're being fed that in order to fatten up. Trust me I'm from Iowa I fully understand this <laughs> discussion but they're you know they get a better price the the more the weight that they have but yet if you will that isn't always the best interest of our health and so looking at instead of finding more um, I'll say of the traditional meat sources go down to the local farmers market. Boise has an awesome market. It has vendors that have grass-fed beef, so they're not getting uh, fed cordon soy, and grass-fed grass finish is what you're looking for. Um, and so with that, now why is this a problem? Some of the things that we're seeing because of this modification also is that in the GMO products, they're also getting uh, Roundup, which has glyphosate, which also causes certain things to happen within our body, which is a extreme toxins that's why we're seeing a lot the question I should say around this is you know gosh is that why we're seeing more people with GI disturbances um, is that you know is there there's organ challenges that are going on immune system disorders accelerated aging infertility food allergies cancer honestly I just think you shouldn't be messing with food and so something has to happen if our body can't fully process or it's too much toxicity these are some of the things that could possibly arise so do your own research you know there's tons of information out there I just want you to start to be aware of ask better questions about what's being put into your food sources and where are you buying your food sources from so organic again obviously in these categories you're not gonna have GMO and organic not everybody can afford it so if you can't afford it go back be reading the labels and really be conscious of things that you're that you're eating so Hope you found this helpful, large topic, little slice of what GMOs are all about, uh, but I encourage you to do your own research. As always, it's a pleasure and have a great day.